This heart looks very different depending on what kind of yarn you use. This one is made out of wool, but if you use thin cotton, it's again different. I have this kind of a colored one and then just a white one. The white one is actually missing some of these bubbles in here. You may prefer to use a chart instead of going through the whole video. Okay, let's start. I'm using a different color for each row of the crochet. That way it's easier to see what I'm doing. First of all, you chain five. So just a loop and chain five. There. And then I join it to form a ring, a circle, a slip stitch. Then I'll make four groups of three trebles into the ring. Uh, I'm using the British term, so treble in American terms is uh, double crochet. For the first group I need uh, to chain three to get the height of trebles. Um, and then two trebles, first one. and then another into the ring. So that's the first group. Then chain two and again into the ring. Um, you may notice that I'm holding the end of the thread in such a way that it goes inside uh, my crocheting, so that way I won't need to um, finish it off in any way, I just cut it off after this row. And the third one. There, and then to chain two and so on. Here I have done the four groups and gone right round and uh, then I need two chain stitches and uh, I'll attach it to the start of the first treble I had with a slip stitch. So here's my first row and now I'm actually going to cut the wool to change the color. So that's it, they're gone. At the same time I'll cut off the, the starting piece of yarn. Looking at the finished heart, we'll now start a row that has four of these here bubble things in the middle of each of the group of three trebles on the previous row that we just made. So I'm changing the yarn simply by taking it instead of the one I used to have and then I'll finish off the ends after I finish the heart. Um, first of all I need to make one treble into the small loop behind uh, the stitch I am at the moment. So I'm putting my hook backwards into it, taking the yarn and pulling it through the loop I had, the stitch I had. There. And then I chain three. So that was my first first treble for the next row. And then another treble into the next one here. And then for this here one in the middle, I will make four trebles and then attach join them in such a way that they make a sort of a raised raised group of trebles, four trebles into the same treble below. One, two, three,
there. Now I have four in the same treble. Then I take the hook of the stitch and uh, go to the fourth one from the hook. One, two, three, four. That means the first treble in this here group that I was just making. And um, I put the hook through there as well as through the stitch I had. Both of these. And then I take a yarn over and pull the yarn through both of them. So now here you can see that it joined it into such sort of a lump. <laughs> After this another treble straight to the next stitch plus another one into the loop left from the in the corner of the last row, previous row. So now we have this bit here. Then you chain three. And sort of turn a bit. And then you'll do the same there. First a treble into the corner. Like that. Then another treble. Then to the next one you'll make four trebles and attach it the same way as in the previous one. And then a treble there and a treble there. So um, like that round the row. So here we are, all four sides. And then just finish off the corner again, chain three. and a slip stitch to the start of the row. So I take a pink yarn at this point and start the same way as the previous row and chain three And then I'll make seven trebles, I'm sorry, six trebles, seven counting this here, right through here. One there. And then the fourth one goes at the base of this here bump. four, five, six and the last one will be in this here um, loop in the corner like this just a straight row and then the same across here until the next bit here we are, two sides with um, three chain stitches in the corner. Then again chain three and uh, I'll do it basically the similar way but I'll need two of these here clusters of, of trebles here before and after the one on the previous row. So again one here. And then that first one. And then for the next one I will make four trebles into the same stitch below. Two, three, fourth. And then again I take the hook off the stitch, one, two, three, four, the fourth one, put it through here and through there and then pull the yarn through both, like that. Then one treble in between here.
and then the same again a cluster of these in here like this and then you chain three and um, do the same on this here last side of the square there it is apart from the last corner and to make it easier to start the next row I'll finish the corner so that the hook will be in the middle in here in the corner here uh, chain one and then uh, treble into the start of the row there, like this here so I'm like that there now we can see that these here are groups of three very long trebles and that's what we are going to do one two three four five of them on each side of the heart to start I chain two and tighten it a bit there and then we need groups of very long trebles with three yarn overs and uh, we attach them to the middle one of the previous row so the fourth treble one two three fourth one here so I pull pull it through there and then I work just like normally with trebles two at a time so when you take the yarn you pull it through two loops but you don't go right to the end uh, so that we can attach them together at the end so I'll so I'll finish when I still have two stitches on the hook and then start the next one three yarn overs the same base for it and again through two two and two and again I leave it like this and then I'll do one more and all this into the same stitch below So now I have three trebles and um, then I pull the yarn through all of them at once. So the three trebles plus the stitch we already had, like this. So it sort of joins it at the top. And then I make another one, chain three. And just the same way again. So uh, trebles with three yarn overs into the same stitch below and just like this I'm making this one a bit quicker now so we see how it turns out now I've got two of them and one more two, three there and then all of them together like that and then to, ho to form half a circle that attaches in there, the next corner, I need two more of these. Now I have five. One, two, three, four, five. Then I chain two and attach that in there, like this here. And then I'll make another one here. So there will be two parts of the heart. Now it's a heart shape. So I finished the second one here. And then what we need to do, just the last row, is making picot edging right around it. And I'm changing the yarn again for that. So I take the different color yarn and I'll go round first two double crochets in, in British terms, single crochet in American terms, just plain ones, and then chain three, and uh, now there are different ways of making a pico edging, but I normally attach it to these two loops here of the double crochet be below. Some people would attach it to the first of the chain stitches. Doesn't matter which way you want to do it. And then you continue like this. Two double crochets. Chain three. Attach the pico. 
with a slip stitch and so on. Uh, just try to see that as you come to the point at the bottom of the heart, it's upside down here now, that you'll get one pico right in the middle of it, just otherwise it won't look symmetrical. And here it is, after the row of pico edging, and I have also finished off the threads by now. I quite like this color actually, so now I'll just continue making more of these. and hope you'll all enjoy it. <laughs>